straws. What exact uh, part of the biceps this hit in this movement? <clears throat> now you want to get that nice peak to the bicep. Okay. Right, you contracting all the way in, right around the peak. Okay. Day, Charles, who are we starting off with? A uh, preacher curl. Yeah. Uh, no, outside, outside. Yeah. Now, here, leave that little gap in between here. So when you get to the top, you're going to lift up off the pad and squeeze right there and then let it back down. Good. Ready? Lift up, lift up, lift up. Good. There you go. Come on. Good. There you go. That's it. Mm hmm. Good. That's it. Good. Lift and pull, lift and pull. Good. Get, get hard contraction right there. Mm -hmm. One more, one more. Come on. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's it. Perfect. Okay, now, if you've been paying head down, and you're going to pull, when you get to this point here, as you get there, you're going to lift your arms up and pull the bar to the top of the head. Okay? Nope. It goes over your head. So duck your head down. There. There you go. Now squeeze and contract hard. Squeeze. Good. There you go. Come on. Do it again. Squeeze. Good. That's it. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Okay, look, look at the weight when it comes up first. When it comes to a few, then duck the head and lift, elbows off the pad, squeeze, and go back down. Got it? Now lift, lift, lift the elbows now. Squeeze. Good. There you go. Good. Do it again. Lift now. Good. That's it. Lift, lift, lift. Good. Try to keep the tension on the bicep. You feel that tension coming off, that means you're going too far. Come on. Lift right there. That's it. Perfect. Right there. Perfect. Bring it. Lift. Perfect. Charles, what exact uh, part of the biceps this hit in this movement? 
<laughs> now you want to get that nice peak to the bicep. Uh, you can track it all the way in with on the peak. But see, most people, what they do, they end up using their forearm. They'll fold this way here. So now, once your wrist starts to break, you got more pressure here than you have on your bicep. Okay. So, so you, you try to keep it very important. You keep it locked in a neutral position here. As you come up, you squeeze at the top. You feel it much more. <clears throat> He needs, he needs to go, let, 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 your, let your wrist drop back just a little bit as you're coming up. Not all the way back, but just a little. So you take the pressure off the forearm okay. and put more into the bicep. There we go. That's better. That's better. Good. You're going too far over your head. Okay. Bring it up. Bring it up. See, it's right here. Stop there. That's it. Good. Now, see all the pressure's on the bicep now. Go. Bring it, bring it. Right to there. That's it. Good. That way, so all that pressure right there. But when you go here, it collapses. Now your bicep gives them a pressure. Okay. Yeah. Now, here, start from here. Chest out, scapula in, and drag it up. Good. That's it. Mm-hmm. Elbows go in and drag it up, drag it up. There you go. One more, one more. Come on. Squeeze, squeeze, contract. Come on. Right there. Perfect. Shoulder blades back right there. That's it. Good. You got to learn how to control it. Don't, don't do it for him because he'll, he'll get used to you doing it. Come on. Squeeze back. Squeeze in there. There you go. That's it. Now your shoulders. There you go. That's it. Perfect. Come on. Good. <clears throat> That's it. Come on. Take your time. Take your time and drag it up. Don't throw it up. Drag it up. Drag it up. Drag it up. Good. Two more like that. Come on. Two. One. Good. Now, don't lean. Stand up straight. Pull this together. Shoulders back, shoulders back as you come up. Good. It should be touching your body at all times, dragging up. Good. There you go. Don't lift your traps up. So Just lift your arms. Up. Yeah. Okay. And then the wrist should be. You're, you're like this. Again? You're like this. Like this. Like that. Okay. But it should be against the body. There you go. Okay. Perfect. And it comes in a vertical line. Yeah, it goes straight up in the vertical into here. Okay. That's it. Good. Contracting through here and squeeze. There you go. Got the pressure there. Mm -hmm. Now drag it up the body. See, you, you, you're curling in front. And you, what you want to do, you want to drag it up the body. So you touch your body as you're dragging it up. It's not dragging. It's way out here. Put it on the body. This is good. Now drag, 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 like that. Okay. Keep it on your body. There you go. Yeah. Drag it up. All you gotta do is turn the belt around to the side if you want. Here we go. Good. Right there. That's it. Notice how he presses his shoulders down? Yes. And now he just drags it up. That's it. Charles, so what's the difference really between a drag curl and just the regular curls that I have been doing for the past? 10 years. Well, a drag curl is more concentrated on what? The peak of that bicep right okay. here. Yes. That's what makes the bicep. Regular curl, you get the whole, the whole full dynamic. Of, uh, you, you're doing the inner and the outer head. So. And also the delts too. You get you get a little well, activation in the front delt. The delt's not playing the pole. The delt's not pulling. The only thing that's moving is your arm. 
I mean in the first you know, one, the the regular this one. Yeah. You get a lot of depth movement. Yes, yes. here you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. That's the one you want. Good. That's the one you want. Ah. Mm hmm. Good. Ah. Keep those shoulders down. Drag it up the body. Good. Contracting the back for the drop. That's it. Mm-hmm. If you lift, if, when, you, when you first try, you lift it up a little, you get more of that pressure right toward the bottom part. Yeah. No, no, uh -huh. you want to lift it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying you're doing it right by lifting it. Lift it and squeeze right there. There you go, good. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, right there. Don't go so fast. Slow down. Take. Yeah, right there. There you go. That's it. Come on. That's it, right there, good. Good, good, good. Always aim for the center of the forehead. Mm -hmm. A little too high, don't go that high. Come on. Let's go, come on, come on. Put it there, put it there. Right there, that's it, yes. Good one. How'd that feel? <laughs> really yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Huh. Come on, come on. Oh, one mm -hmm. more. Huh. Oh. Oh. Okay, Tracy, go. Be superior to a free uh, a free weight barbell curl because it seems like the pad keeps you behaved. I, I wouldn't say superior to, but because all of it's good. I like this only because it's, it makes you do a more of a stricter movement. See, and that's what I like about this. Where with the free bar and everything else, you get to throw it it's around. Actually an advanced you know, yeah, because yeah. this is so much better. Yeah. Oh, the sinuses are killing me. Get you a gift. Charles, get you a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it. There, leave that. There you go. Good. Good. Mm hmm. So it keeps everything nice and tight. Good. Ah. That's it. Come on. Mm hmm. Good. There you go. Come on. And push forward, okay? Locking the wrist. There you go. Come on. Legs apart. There you go. Good. Good. There you go. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. It doesn't need to correct, yeah? Huh? No correction. Yeah. Perfect. It's like good. Uh, yeah, right there's good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, don't let that wrist bend back on the back is straight. Yeah, back is straight. So you're pushing into the tricep. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Charles, uh, the key, I think the three things that I notice is the wrist, that is the uh, the body placement, the angle, mm -hmm. and that is the direction in which you push. Yeah, most people push straight down. Yes. I push in front so I get all three heads to work. Okay. Rather than just a lot of my shoulders and with your single head, which would be the inside head. And you put yourself so, there, you, you, yeah. you're going to injure yourself if Eventually you keep you doing will. that yeah. internal rotation of the shoulders. Rotation part. Okay. There you go, good. Mm hmm Good. Motions good, Charles. Oh, yeah. I, I like my I, full range. Okay. Not half. <laughs> That's yeah. perfect. Good. Mm. Always get the elbows tight to the body. Tight to the body.
shows that goes to the top of the forehead, not from a slope. You ready here? You're, you're here, which is better than, because here you bunched up. See? Keeping the elbows back. That's the key. Forward, there's, tension, right? there's no tension at the top. Now, I need your hands in. Okay, so here? Okay. Right there, good. Mm -mm. Okay, I want it right here. Right, right here. here. Now go back toward me. And you bring it right back in. Now. Mm-hmm. This is a skull crusher? Yes. Okay. And then three things. I noticed the bench is about 30 degrees. And then his elbows. I like it 30 degrees because it pulls more. Okay. You have more gravity pulling the boat okay. down than when you have it flat. Okay. And then his elbows compared to the ground is about 95. Yeah, like 95. Okay. 95. Yeah. Then same thing, same position for the wrist. Right. You want to save it a little bit with the wrist and then push back. Okay. We're locking the wrist out the top. Awesome. Yeah. And the direction of him pushing, he's pushing against. He's pushing it toward me. Okay. Which gets more stretch. Also, it gets more contraction on the tricep. Awesome. Right there. So like this. I go up. That way. And you go back down to there. Okay. Right here. Now go down to there. Now come back toward me. There you go, good. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's it, perfect, perfect. In, move it in, move, move it in. Right there, perfect, right there. There you go. Now, let it go in, set it back, drop down to here. Now come up and toward me. Then you bring it back. Don't let it get too low. Keep it up, keep it up, right there. That's it, now bring it up. Yes, right there, that's it. That's the one right there. Mm-hmm. Good angle. I lean forward, I press into my tricep. I press into the tricep. Put the weight where you want it. So keeping the elbow behind your behind shoulder you, joint. You, you stand okay. off the joints. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Yes, that's it. Good, there you go. See how he's activating all three heads to that tricep? Activate the whole thing. Nice. Good. Good. Charles. The tempo you use, how many seconds through like the eccentric and all concentric? It, it just depends uh, on the person. If you get tired, you, you're going to speed up a little bit, but okay. I try to keep it the same. I take the same tempo going up and I squeeze it. Then I let it go back and get that nice stretch. Okay. Then I come back into it and I squeeze it again. But I'm always trying to get the contraction at the very end. So you really want to feel the whole the burn whole, through and the contraction? The whole movement. Okay. Right. Yeah. Bring your body to the side. There you go. Now push. And when you push, lean back into it. Now lean forward with it. Now lean back as you push down. Good. There you go. Good. That's it. Anywhere from eight to twelve. Okay, and then the number of sets, for, like on, on day, how many? I normally do uh, three to four sets. Three to four sets. Yeah. Okay. 